Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to download maps onto the Epix Gen 2 and the Phoenix 7 series watches. So if you bought the 16 gigabyte version, you won't have preloaded maps except for the ski maps and the golf maps. But you do have free access to download the maps, but you can't fit the top topographic maps for the whole world at the same time on the device. The Sapphire Edition comes with 32 gigabytes of storage and those have preloaded maps for the whole world. The process is the same on the Phoenix 7 series watches and on the Epix. So I'll, I'm going to show you how to do this on the Epix. So first hold down the menu key and go down to Maps and Map Manager. Here go to Topo Active Maps and add map. It will connect to your Wi-Fi and request the map data. Now we can see the maps which we can select and download here. So we do have 12.2 gigabytes of available storage at this point. So I'm in Europe, so I'm going to scroll down to the European maps. Topo Active Europe 11.6 gigabytes. So I'm selecting that and then I can select download. Map download will begin when your, your device is plugged in. So if you're going to use this option for downloading the maps, it will take a long time. The faster option is using Garmin Express, so I'm going to show you how to do that next. I tested downloading the maps onto the Phoenix 7 via the Wi-Fi connection and I think it was almost two hours and it was at 30% or something like that so I just left it overnight and in the morning it had completed so it does take really long a long time over Wi-Fi but let's try it via the Garmin Express so now I have plugged in the watch to my computer and let's jump on the computer next so now with the watch connected to the PC uh, and the Garmin Express software installed, you can press on Add Device. This Garmin Express is available for Windows and Mac. It found the Epix device. I'm pressing on Add Device. So I do need to sync with Garmin Connect. So I'm going to sign in. I'm going to pause for a moment to sign in. So I have clicked on Sign In. <clears throat> and we can see that it's suggesting device nickname Epix and language English. I'm, I'm fine with that. Let's click next. Let's click next. It's saying please wait while we finish setting up your device. Now that step completed and it's saying checking for updates. Setup complete. This device is now registered. It's saying that there are some map updates. Let's go under Manage Maps. So for the golf maps there are some updates. For the points of interest in the Carmen Ski map there are some updates. And for the Topo Active maps we can select the European maps. It seems that for the European maps we can also choose to get a subset. But I'll just go with the full European maps and then hit apply changes accept the terms estimated install time is 2 hours and 53 minutes so that's still a super long time even via the computer now we can see that the map changes are complete and we can go on the device to check the maps now with the maps downloaded we can go to the start button and select map. Now we can navigate the map with the touch screen and this is a lot more handy than the way you had to navigate with the buttons in the previous Garmin version. You still can use the buttons and the buttons are kind of handy for uh, zooming in and out. You can also zoom in and out with the plus and minus buttons. But you cannot pinch to tune 
but the moving of the maps uh, that's great with, with the touch screen if you found this video helpful please do consider subscribing it helps out the channel quite a bit and you can go watch this video next for some more garmin tips thanks for watching